Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and today I have a small jewelry jar to, to uh, open with you. Um, this jewelry jar was $9.99 Canadian with about 30% off with the discount. Um, so for the size, it uh, was reasonable. There was not a lot of choice, and I kind of picked up a couple jars that you know, we're as promising as possible. How's that? So this one has a stick pin for um, St. Patrick's Day. It had a watch that looked interesting. It has um, a brooch in the bottom that looks interesting. It also has some plastic beads, some paper beads. Um, it was this particular watch here with the marcasites that I liked. Um, I need a new watch. So a lot of watches in this one, unfortunately, but um, if I, I couldn't buy a new watch, a nice one anyway, for, for uh, six or seven dollars, so I figured this uh, could be to my advantage. And I have places where I can donate the, uh, the watches if needed. So off the top, um, it's just a lightweight um, metal. Uh, religious metal from Italy, uh, probably aluminum, and it's of uh, Mary, um, the mother of Jesus. It has writing around the edge. Um, oh, so it's the Immaculate Conception, conceived without sin. Um, and so that can uh, go with religious metals. And we have a couple of watches on the top. This one Citadel. Oh, and someone's name is on the back. Miriam West Luther 4H 2008. Oh, okay. So this was, it looks like a prize for 4H Club. It's got a 12 and a 6 on it. It's not running at the moment, but it's, um, it's a water resistant quartz watch. Um, nice watch. Fits me. And uh, I wouldn't wear it because I like to see the the numbers, or at least indications of the numbers. I mean, I mean, I can tell what time it is. There's a little bit of discoloration, a little banging, I guess, on the edge here, or unless it's dirt. Oh, no, that's dirt. Okay, so this watch will clean up nicely, and um, I might be able to pass it on to someone. <clears throat> so another watch. Geneva Platinum Quartz Movement. This one's got nice, uh, easily red numbers. It's not running at the moment, but it probably just needs a battery. It's um, clamper style and just says uh, Geneva Japan Movement on the back. It's in good condition. This is this is not fabric in the, the leopard print. It's uh, uh, resin coated, so that should stand up nicely. Um, so, and I, a second watch in good condition. I guess they figured this day that, you know, watches were something to get rid of. <clears throat> now, oh, yeah, here's another watch. This one might be useful for, uh, oh, this was an old watch. This would be all useful for, for steampunk. It's Bulova. The face is, uh, well worn. Um, it had, uh, not sure if that was a seconds timer. Um, so look at here, all the little red jewels. So this would have been a, a nice quality watch at the time. Here, I'll zoom it in a minute if we can. There you go. Um, hey, keep that for steampunk. Um, it is really cool just in itself. You never know. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, not sure what you would use this for. Anybody know? It's a, like I, my first thought was like a, a tie, uh, not a tie, but a a collar clip of some sort. But I don't see how you would clip it. Um, yeah, so it's a. It looks like a hanger with the chain. Parts. Here's a pair of earrings, uh, nicely uh, joined together. 
um, on kidney wires. Just a little black. Doesn't really feel cold. No, it feels like uh, it's probably plastic, but it, there, these are in good shape. Very wearable pair of earrings. Um, and our first pair of earrings. What is this? Oh, an older pin. Okay, so riveted on the back. And there's something stuck in there that doesn't belong in there, like a part of an earring or something. Um, <laughs> you can see that there. The back's been squished. I'll be able to fix that. Um, so a leaf pin with a little accent of a pearl. And uh, brushed metal. Still got its shine. I don't see any, you know, no real discoloration. Maybe people didn't wear it, or maybe a person didn't wear it because the way the back was bent. Because, yeah, you can. So, maybe if I just pull out my pliers. I'm curious as to what this ball in the back. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is easily repaired. I'll, uh. Get this in the safety clasp, the clasp. There we go, good as new. And what is this? This is a gold ball of some sort with no hole in it. So who knows what kind of a treasure that could be. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Another pair of earrings, these are let me take them one apart. I'm not good at holding these, so they, I will try to do my best. So these are wire wrapped, sorry, wire wrapped for the paws, uh, ran out of disc space. So we were looking at watches, and let's see what else comes out of this uh, jar. Oh, they whoever did this put most of the earrings, or the earrings so far, in pairs, let me uh, just refocus. Okay, these are very lightweight. I doubt if they're even aluminum. They're probably just some pot metal, uh, but some nice hoops in great condition. So I'll put them off. That's three pairs of earrings. There's a, an, a, an odd one by itself. Oh, a Christmas pin. And this is in uh, pretty darn good shape for Christmas. Um, nice bells with uh, enameling, uh, modern pin, no maker's mark on the back. Um, I'll put that aside for uh, Christmas time. A little bit of everything in here. What else have we got? Oh, here's a, a ring. It's quite small. Um, Coppery on the edges, so I'm assuming just, uh, uh, what would we say, silver toned and uh, was worn enough that the uh, silver's wearing off. Um, if you wanted to take the time to uh, sand it down, you could take all of the silver off, but uh, I don't know if that would be worth saving for a craft project or not. I'm going to put it off to the side. And we'll leave the single earrings till the end. Aww. A little frozen bracelet, stretchy bracelet for a girl. I'll save that for my granddaughter. Where are we going to put the kitty stuff? We'll put the kitty stuff down here. Oh, there's a another. Ooh. There's some rhinestones for you. That's quite nice. There's a spot over here that... looks odd you can kind of see how dark it looks but i don't see that it's missing any rhinestones i think it's just the way the the light is hitting it um not my type of earring to wear but i'll see if there's a match for it there's also a break up here i mean maybe that's part of the style it just looks a little strange so that's a single earring but blingy rhinestones oh another kid's bracelet or two um, these look handmade. They are tied together with a ribbon. I'm going to take them apart so we can see them a little better. Uh, 
We've only got three knots to undo, so that shouldn't be too bad. Well, so maybe this is more of a, a kid's jar to clean these up. There's birthdays coming up, Easter coming up. They'd be great in Easter baskets for kids. Just have to find uh, enough for everybody. Okay, so we get rid of the ribbon. And here are two pretty bracelets. They're actually, you know, reasonably coordinated. Put those with the kid stuff. Alrighty. Another pair of, oh no, not another pair of earrings. A single earring. Oh, this is cool. It's rhinestones and a it's like a, sil a gold tone with rhinestones and a silver tone twisted together. It's a single earring. This is a part of a bit of chain. Go in the craft stuff. Ooh, what does this say? Nana. Nona? Made of the Mist, Niagara Falls. Oh, a souvenir from Niagara Falls. USA 94. Um... Uh, copyright L carriers? I'm not sure. So, made of the mist. Ah, uh, that's uh, vintage. Pretty darn good shape. My name is Nana, not Nona. So, uh, but hey, maybe we'll find somebody who could use that. Not really jewelry, but you know, we have that problem with uh, these things. So, this is an earring that's. Um, Totally destroyed. Um, textured metal. Another single earring. It's too bad. Here's, oh, a cute little uh, clip back in the shape of a flower. Pink flower with a rhinestone in the center. All right, don't see any maker's marks. It's a little, uh, needs some cleaning up on the back here. Whoops, one of the petals moved. Be nice if we found the match to that. Oh, and, oh, here's the watch that I thought I would like. This is a Bella Quartz, so needs a battery. I'm just going to check. These, uh, These look like marcasites all along there and all around there, and I like marcasite jewelry. Um, and it's going to fit, and it's pretty straightforward to see the numbers. Ah! Okay, so my left hand is not as coordinated as my right. There you go. Let's see if we can focus in a bit better. So that's quite a nice... Uh, would be a nice watch. I'm hoping that uh, all I need is to put a battery in it and then I'll have my watch. So that was one of the things that uh, convinced me that this was a worth buying. Ooh, this is disgusting. It's a uh, Disney watch and it's so dirty. Ugh. Ugh. Um, and it's cracked and it's just going to go over to the garbage pile. Yuck. Like you would think, why would somebody, well, I know. Why do people donate things that just should go in the garbage can? I see it all the time, broken things. So this is just a plastic uh, filigree dangle. Can go in the repurposing pile. Oh, some more jewelry for Easter time. Cute little mermaid necklace with butterflies, plastic beads, stretchy. Let's see, pull out the rest of the ones. Okay, this was, uh, well, these look like they uh, still together on uh, some sort of card. These again, little, uh, they're kind of cute. There's felt on the back, plastic, uh, plastic rhinestones, a nice little pair of your uh, bracelets. Again, uh, more Easter stuff. Before we get to Easter, here's a little lucky uh, shamrock stick pin. I don't know if it unscrews or 
twists off. I guess it twists off. Mm, good shape. Here comes a oh uh, something else in that in the kids jewelry vein of things. What does it say? It's very lightweight. It says Claire's, but it's in excellent condition. Looks like it hasn't been worn. A little uh, plastic butterfly, glittery butterfly. Okay, so we'll uh, we're adding to the pile of. Easter jewelry. If they wear it once, that's fine. Didn't we? Oh, we already had one of these. Here's its match. There's no backs. This one looks a little mangled. Let's see if I can straighten it out. I might need some persuasion. Let's see. There we go. Very fine cup chain. Um, so if you like some bling, those would be great. You know, I think of these as New Year's Eve or dancing earrings, you know, lots of movement. Um, still a little out of shape down there. Might be worth keeping for uh, crafts or the rhinestones. What else? Okay, here's a paper bead necklace and it's actually got a little hang tag on it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to... Okay, so it's called Bead of Life. And I think these are a fundraising project. I can look up more information, but the, the little tag there says Bead of Life. Um, not bad. More and more of these are appearing as a, a way of fundraising. A little bit of color on there. Um, give way to the kids. Oh, more kitty stuff. So a, uh, a nice textured bangle it's got let's see if we can focus in on it maybe not if I put my hand behind it there you see it so little paisley shapes circles not a precious metal there's the seam but nicely textured bangle What else did I pull out there at the same time? Oh, this is a two-part necklace, a two-strand necklace. A little um, a glittery star and two strands of seed beads uh, and some metal colored beads. Again, we'll put that in the kids' jewelry. Oh, somebody's been to Paris, France, not me. Paris, the Eiffel Tower. That would be good in a crafting project or if you really wanted a, a keychain. It's not too sharp, so you're not. it's not going to tear apart things in your purse. So we've been to Niagara Falls. We've been to Paris. Ooh. Oh, okay. So a little um, ring. Not in great shape. Play, not for uh, re-gifting for Easter. This says... It's not a language I can read. It looks like Russian, Czechoslovakian. Um, I suppose it could be Greek. Whoops, I suppose I should put it where you could see it. This is a lovely little cross. I'll have to um, check into what language it is in. Maybe it is Greek. I'll, uh, that's a nice, a nice little cross. I'll put it with the religious metal. Here's this big, oh, this is a very yellowed rhinestone pouch. These are nice rhinestones, but the glue has dried or aged to a yellow color. I'm not sure if there should have been rhinestones all the way around the outside edge. The, certainly the settings are there, but um, well, here we go, focus in a bit better. Um, it's not bad the fact that they're all missing from there, and there's certainly no glue around the outside edge, but that rest of that yellow glue is not very attractive. Um, not marked. 
could be any age, but um, I think just with the amount of yellowing of the glue, this is probably vintage, probably at least clean up the glue. I might soak it and take out all the rhinestones and then bling it up with different colors of rhinestones. They're pretty standard sizes. So there's a repairable piece for me to play with. Ooh, this is what I thought was a bracelet. Okay, this is heavier. It's plastic, but nice um, glittery beads, beads with inclusions. Um, kind of cool. Wooden beads are not my favorite, but they're very clean. This would be kind of nice maybe with a pendant at the bottom, and I'm wondering if there was one in it just missing because um, these are heavy but there's no weight here to keep this down anyway so an interesting plastic necklace not for the kids pile for sure oh this came out what have we got here oh there's a little earring so here's a nice rhinestone necklace my hands behind it so that you can kind of see it. There we go. Um, don't see any missing rhinestones. No missing rhinestones. It's in very nice shape. Um, doesn't look vintage by the way it's put together here on the back. Um, that's just yeah maybe my sort of perspective of it um though there's a little bit of cloudiness there could be that it's since let me see if they're cold Nah. so these are probably just plastic rhinestones rather than glass so something that would be great to wear for prom it's got a good weight to it so it would hang nicely um i'm not sure what i'll do with it not sure. Put it with the blingy earrings. Here is a bracelet that you could wear with that. This is uh, nice. I have some vintage, whoops. Um, pretty new looking on the back. I have some vintage bracelets of this uh, style and design. This stone and this stone are gone, have discolored. There's one missing, yeah, one missing there. That can be replaced. Um, I don't, oh, I might have a, a rectangle stone that could go in there. And that one could be replaced. So it wouldn't take very much to uh, bring this back to good condition. Clasp works well. It's not marked in any way. Um, is it cold? No, I'll have to check and see if those rhinestones are glass or plastic. They don't, they feel warm, so I don't know about that. So there's a second piece to repair. Okay, these are getting more difficult to take out. So if you don't mind, I'm going to move these three single earrings back there. There's another single earring that I haven't looked at. Let's just dump all that stuff out. So we have a nice little jar missing its lid. My grandmother used to use these for candy and raisins and stuff like that. I might have a lid around. So what have we got? Okay, we have a, a rusty piece of something. I don't know if it's even worth repurposing. Um, a... Charm it. Um, not sure if this goes on there. I'm going to just take it off. This spring ring. So this is, uh, it's got a, an M. It's got a seashell with a pearl. Oh, I see. These all attach with uh, 
spring rings so you can take them off and on. So take the charm off. I know a girl whose name starts with M. I know somebody who would like this charm. This is just lightweight aluminum. Here's another charm. Oh no, I guess that's the end of it. Uh, oh, there's the spring ring. So you, just, you can make it into a necklace. A nice little uh, rainbow colored lightweight aluminum chain and a couple charms. So that'll go in the kids pile. Let's see if we have any more charms in here. I don't think so. We got some, oh, like a sweater clip. I don't know how old this is. Let's see. Okay, no maker's name. It's just uh, it's textured here on the back. Whoops, that didn't focus, did it? There we go. Textured on the back. Um, this looks like a new thing. It's got really strong clips. Um, nice texture on the front, a little bit of chain. I don't know anybody who uses these, so this could go in the repurpose pile, but it's in good condition. Somebody might want to use it. Um, oh, a nice pair of rhinestone earrings. Now, they're not complete. These are um, screw backs. And they say Coro. Score. Okay. So for me, who collects Coro? Getting a pair of earrings and a watch in the same jar is quite good. There's a little bit of verdigris here. I can see we're missing a rhinestone there. Um, these are all cleanable, repairable. So very nice Coro earrings. It's interesting. Only one of them is... Uh, marked Coro, so that's uh, good that they're together. I would never have known otherwise. If I just had found one, I wouldn't have known. So that's uh, another repairable rhinestone piece that I will enjoy. I see only one of these. It's the poor cousin of the other ones that I found, and it's kind of misshapen. I don't know if it just needs to be straight. It's kind of stiff, too. Maybe it's supposed to be curved like that so that it gets... And let's see what we have left from the bottom of the jar. Here's a single plastic um, rose earring. A single three-quarter hoop earring. Very lightweight. So, the final few pieces. Here's a little plastic... Um, flower earring. I should go with the craft stuff, I guess, since it's, well, we'll put the singles together. A single um, aluminum type earring. Another pair of uh, sort of aluminum feel or weight. It might be cheaper metal than that. Um, earrings like we had at the beginning. So there's two sets of earrings in very good shape. Um, a little snowman earring, put that with the Christmas stuff. Uh, this earring is was a hook back, very stiff, uh, discolored. Um, put that with the craft stuff eventually. Here's a, a very lightweight, probably plastic, even though it looks like metal. Uh, dangle, put that with the craft stuff. Here's uh, an interesting, not sure I like the way they're mounted. So these are three heart-shaped rhinestones um, with these little bars holding them in place, kind of bent. Um, only one of those. Here's, well that's a nice crystal, a nice heart-shaped crystal, a single post earring. One of those. Another single earring. So lots of little crafty bits here. Um, another single dangle earring. It looks like... Uh, oh, I don't think it's amethyst. I think it's just uh, like a cat's eye type piece of glass. A little bit of rhinestone at the bottom. Here's a pair of... Uh, those faux zipper 
earrings. There we go. Put those off to the side. Here's a, a little pocket angel. It says always with you. I don't know anybody who carries those, but uh, here's one earring MK. I don't know if that's Michael Kors. One's not much use by itself. We've got lots of earring backs. Let's see, there's another uh, rhinestone earring, a pretty purplish color, but only one. Um, a little ring, adjustable ring. That one's in pretty good shape, actually. Um, put that in the kids' pile. Um, oh, a cute little pin, lapel pin. Doesn't say anything on the back, but it's the uh, crescent moon with a couple stars hanging from it. So that's um, in good shape. A little uh, half hoop earring with rhinestones. Again, craft pile repurposing. A lightweight dangle, miss, uh, lots of wear, missing uh, some sort of stone. Um, but there's some rhinestones in there, might be worth repurposing. A little shield pin from SeaWorld, but it's lost its pin part, so that's probably garbage. Um, okay, this says on the back here, I don't think I can, I'm not sure I can focus it, let's try. No, it doesn't like when I do that. Okay, maybe back here. Yep, there you can see it says Italy. And on the front, we have um, sorry, picture of the Christ child and a saint. I'll have to look up who that uh, would be. I don't see any markings that say that it's um, silver in any way. But there's three religious medals, um, a piece that looks like one of those charms from the uh, Charm It chain, just missing the charm, and four earring backs, oh, and a rhinestone. So, four earring backs and a rhinestone. Loose rhinestones, what kind of shape is this one in? Oh, it looks pretty good, it doesn't have, it's just not missing much. So I might be able to find its home in the, whatever piece it fell out of. If not, uh, it can be reused. I'm still curious about this ball, this gold ball with uh, that was stuck in the back of that pin. I wonder how long it was stuck back there. Well, wish me luck with uh, putting a new battery in my watch. I think uh, with between the watch, the three pieces for repurposing, and all the kids jewelry that will be nice for Easter uh, to put into Easter baskets, so I got my money out of this jar. Thank you. Hope you have a great rest of the day.